Hi everybody, Laura here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a fun project to share with you, doing a little emboss resist and using the new Pink and Main ergonomical blender brushes, as well as the new Concord 9th ink color. So I'm going to start with this faceted heart image, which is from the Botanical Heart stamp set by Simus's Stamp. I've always loved that faceted heart image. And so I'm going to stamp it repeatedly about eight or nine times using Versamark ink. I'm going to emboss these heart images in clear and do, do an emboss resist with the Concord 9th inks. So I'm pouring on some Simus's Stamp clear embossing powder and heating that with the heat gun. And I do this repeatedly, like eight or nine times, which I don't show because I don't want to bore you to tears, but you get the idea. I emboss a lot of hearts. Now moving on to the fun stuff. We've got these Pink and Main ergonomical blender brushes. They are so cool. They've got their own little fancy schmancy holder. Today I'm only going to be using the mini, which I only have one of. And I'll tell you, I was skeptical. Would I be able to pull off using all these vibrant, juicy Concord Ninth inks with one blender brush? Well, I'm happy to report that I did. And I didn't really feel like I had contamination. So you can get away with one brush. Although I think ideally I'd like to have 10. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, okay, so I'm doing Poppy, which is a very bright, very happy, vibrant red color. And I'm kind of going a little bit heavier, a little more ink on the right side of the heart to give it that gradient. And it blends like butter. It really does. Okay, so I wipe it off on my stamp chamois. Give it a good once over and then I wipe it on the paper and then I wipe it on my hand and then I wipe it on my pants and you know, but it gets clean. Okay, moving on to grapefruit. And I got to show you too, the little mini has its own little fancy schmancy holder, pops in and out. It's so classy. You know what I mean? It makes you feel like you really, you've really arrived in the blender business. And I got to say, I'm a tough cookie to crack. I've been using the Tim Holtz blender sponges blender sponges, blender sponges for years now. And you know how they say it's, it's hard to teach an old dog new tricks. I'm hard to convert and I do have the blender brushes and I've got all the things and it's not that I don't like them. I'm just old and set in my ways. Now these ergonomical, they do feel good in the hand. They feel mighty good. The big one, I got to, I got to do a project, but the big one, but you wouldn't believe how soft that is. I mean, you just want to rub it on your face. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Now this color sea glass, it's like a mint. And now I'm like, can you really do sea glass after using poppy? Forget about it. But really, I was shocked. You can, you can get away with one brush. You can go from poppy to sea glass in a New York minute without a single problem. Okay. And now moving on to a very, a very potent color. This peacock, she's... She's in your face. She's juicy. You hardly have to do any effort to blend. It doesn't take much time or much energy because it's just really that strong. And uh, yeah, okay, these colors are just delicious, aren't they? So uh, just keep rubbing that blender brush on the stamp chamois. And I'm going to use a coordinating botanical heart die to die cut each one of these little emboss resisted hearts out. So there you have parsley, I believe. And there's poppy, stardust, honeysuckle, buttercup, grapefruit, and peacock. I can't believe I rattled those names off. I actually used that little cheat sheet on the side that came off of my cardstock paper. And I keep that handy all the time. It's got all the colors in a row with the names. You know what I want to get is some of those labels. They got the labels for the ink pads. I want to get those. So I'm kind of fiddling and futzing around with these hearts. I just sped this up to show you. I can fiddle and futz all the live long day. I mean, I can fiddle and futz with the best of them and I just move it around. I just shifty. I do the shifty, the shifty slide. And then I'm popping each one up, kind of hanging some off the side, you know, angling them here and there and just having a go of it. And then I'm going to trim off all the excess that's hanging off. The first edge I do with the scissors. And then that way I can butt that up to the top of my paper trimmer and cut the rest off. I like to use a paper trimmer. That way you get a nice clean cut. It does, however, sometimes get a little gummy when you've got that foam adhesive getting in the way, but it does get a nice clean cut. There you have it. Now for the sentiment, I'm using this Love You die, which is from the Botanical Heart die set as well. I'm die cutting that into some gold glittered cardstock for a little shimmer. Put a little foam tape on the back of that and I'm popping it up on a little bit of vellum. Okay, so then I'll trim that out and you have a nice little framed sentiment. 
Okay, it's getting warm here. I don't know what it's like. I know back home, I talk to my mom all the time and she's like, Laura, it's just, in Illinois, it's so hot and it's so humid. Here in Germany, it's not really humid. It is, however, getting warm. And uh, so we're on the top floor of the apartment. I got every window open trying to get air. We don't have air conditioning. But then the flies come in and sometimes even bees come in. And, and, you know, they don't mean any harm, but they chap my khakis, especially when they're trying to find their way out. And the window's wide open, but they keep banging against the glass. So I got myself a fly swatter and I'm swinging away. I mean, I'm like Babe Ruth in the apartment, just swinging for the fences. One of these days I'm going to throw my shoulder out with the force. But uh, yeah, it keeps me in shape. And yeah, just, you know, wrangling the flies is what I do. I wrangle flies and I make cards. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.